up everyone and welcome to Best Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2023 Hyundai Sonata. Before we begin, please like and subscribe so I can continue to bring accurate and clear car reviews in under 10 minutes. Let's get started. The Hyundai Sonata has for years been an incredibly solid and reliable sedan. It has gone through some major design changes through the years, but I think the current generation provides some of the best looks it's ever had. And the wide range of engine options makes this an even more enticing offer, especially in a competition fear segment. If you're loving the design, then stay tuned. Let's take a look at the different trims and details that matter most to you to determine which will be the best bang for your buck. Information and photos in today's video come direct from Hyundai or from Motor Trend or Car and Driver. Let's dive in. The 2023 Sonata will be available in a lot of different trims. The base will be the SE and the SEL. Then you need a couple of hybrids here with the blue hybrid and SEL hybrid. Then back to gas with SEL Plus, the quick end line. Limited, the top most expensive will be the Limited Hybrid. That SE will be starting off at a very reasonable price of $26,215. And working your way all the way up to that top, give the Limited Hybrid there at $37,515. So with that huge range of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine different trims, uh, with a span of $11,000, there's certainly an option that you will probably like and be able to afford easily. So great to see Hyundai is offering that many options. The SE and the SEL have a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. There's 191 horsepower and 181 pound feet of torque. The hybrid models offer a two liter turbocharged four cylinder with one electric motor that'll do uh, 192 horsepower and 139 pound feet of torque. And the SEL Plus and the Limited offer a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder. There's 180 horsepower, 195 pound feet of torque. And the M line has a engine just for itself, a 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder that does much more, 290 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque. So four different engine options here, three different gas and one hybrid option. So lots to pick from and one that should certainly appeal to you uh, no matter which one you want to pick. The eight speed automatic will pair with all the gas engines and the hybrids will get a six speed automatic transmission. Front wheel drive is standard on all these models. They do get some varying MPGs, despite some engines being the same. Uh, as you can see there, the best MPG option will be the blue hybrid, which give you 50 in the city, 54 on the highway. And even the M line with that, that big, most powerful engine will still get you 23 in the city, 33 on the highway. Take, some, take a look now at some pictures of the Sonata across some different trim levels um, that have been released. And we'll kind of pick apart the design here quick and some features. Uh, like I said, this is a unique design. Uh, overall, the grille has received some harsh critiquing uh, just for its shape. But overall, this is a stylish sedan. Most cars in this segment are actually very well designed, in my opinion. So the Sonata needs to be well designed as well to be successful. Uh, some features here, the SEL Plus uh, has exclusive 19-inch wheels. It's the only trim to offer that size with all-terrain tires. So that's definitely appealing um, when you're looking for options. The N line is obviously it's that fastest and most sporty oriented trim. If you want the most performance out of your Sonata, you go N line and you'll have a lot of fun with that. Increasing in trim levels will get you much nicer stock wheels primarily, uh, but that does transform the vehicle uh, quite a bit. I've always said that the wheels are the haircut of the car. It can make or break it uh, or make it look much nicer or much worse. Um, and obviously, as you go up the trim ladder, you get a nicer interior. Uh, one kind of knock that I've seen is reviewers are saying that this Sonata doesn't handle as well as the other stands in the segment, especially the Honda Accord. Uh, but one plus it has over those is it's still offering automatic transmissions, and most of the competition only offers CVTs. I think the best bang for your buck will either be the SEL or the SEL Plus. Moving up to the SEL Plus will give you a different engine. With different standard features and options but it is a bit more expensive the sel still gives you one step up from the base model but it is more affordable in the end and if you want to go hybrid definitely go for that blue hybrid it gives you the best uh, mpg numbers and just a sweet car take a look at some pictures of the interior now some of the different options you can have this is a nice interior for the price simple design but easy to use and gets the job done there are nice materials are also used and the higher trim you get the nicer you get. 
Is this spacious for being a sedan? No problem there. Plenty of leg and headroom, front and the back. You get a nice 16 cubic feet of cargo space in the trunk. Um, when it comes to infotainment, you get a standard 8-inch infotainment screen. However, the SEL with the convenience package, SEL Plus and Limited, um, have an option for a larger screen. And they also get a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster. If you add in the tech package, you get a 12-speaker Bose sound system, that 10.3-inch screen that I mentioned, and a panoramic sunroof. This also has a five-star safety rating, so that's fantastic to hear. Uh, you want to make sure you and your family are well uh, protected driving just in case something bad were to happen. This also has plenty of safety and driver's assist features that do come standard to help you ensure your safety. In review, guys, the Sonata is a fantastic option if you're looking for a sedan. Uh, I can vouch for the Sonata. My first car was an 08 Sonata, and I absolutely loved it. The thing was bulletproof, never had an issue with it. Uh, if I wasn't ready to just move on to a new, bigger car, I was probably would still have it. Um, great car, and I don't think the design uh, has gone in a bad direction. I actually like where they've gone with it. Uh, it's completely different than what I had. It's also completely different than my dad's Sonata. He has a, a 2013, so several generations later and then several generations beyond that um, it's continued to evolve in a modern way and hyundai's doing the right thing with offering many different engine options including several different hybrid models uh, the only thing i would knock on is that there's no options for an all-wheel drive um, i do believe all-wheel drive should come standard uh, and certainly be an option especially on the end line it just make it more fun uh, but at the end of the day it's not entirely a decision you know to not get it because it doesn't have all-wheel drive but some of the competition does so it might sway you to go another route but in the end you know it's still a great option hope this video laid things out in a clear way for you guys thank you for watching this best car review please subscribe if not already and i'll catch you on the next best car review